And so protesters all over the world are bringing down statues of colonial figures in the wake of the widespread demonstrations demanding justice for George Floyd. In Europe, several statues were either toppled or defaced as the concerned personality represented a racist idea and enforced empire's vicious policies that left colonies in utter despair. The trend of pulling down statues comes after the recent incident where anti-racism protesters in England drowned the statue of Edward Colston, a 17th century slave trader who is believed to have transported 80,000 men to the Americas. Soon after the events in Bristol and Minneapolis, protesters all around the globe are bringing down statues of slave traders, imperialists and men who are said to have no regard for racial equality. In London, anti-racism protesters removed the statue of 18th century slave trader Robert Milligan. The incident occurred after the protests surrounding George Floyd's case triggered a debate on how Britain looks at its colonial past. In response to the ongoing protests, London's mayor Sadiq Khan has also ordered a review of statues and street names across London. Earlier, protesters in Bristol also brought down two statues of colonialists demanding racial justice for all. In Oxford, more than 1,000 protesters came together demanding the removal of a statue of 19th century British colonialist Cecil Rhodes. Given his controversial image, Rhodes was deployed in southern Africa who was known for looting money from people and exploiting miners for gold and diamond. Infamous for his imperialist wars, racial segregation and beliefs leading to apartheid, the protesters have demanded immediate removal of the statue. Just days after protesters dumped down a statue in Bristol, the city's most influential figure, secret street artist Banksy, has come out with a creative way to criticize and put an end to racism. A drawing from Banksy's Instagram account shows a statue of Edward Poulston being pulled down by protesters. Banksy also came out with an idea of removing the statue out of the water, put it back on the platform, tie a cable around his neck and commission life-size statues of protesters bringing Colston down. In Kentucky's Louisville, authorities took away the statue of Confederate officer John B. Castleman. The statue, which is at least 100 years old, will now be cleaned up and relocated to a cemetery where Castleman is buried. The state and the city's leadership also said that it would be stepping up efforts to remove monuments and statues that glorify Confederacy in public spaces. In Belgium, people are calling for the removal of King Leopold II. statue, Leopold, known for killing more than 10 million in Congo, is said to have been extremist with anti-African-American undertones. The protesters, inspired by the death of young African-American in Minneapolis, also painted brunt and vandalized the statue of Belgium's longest reigning king. The protesters have also started an online petition demanding the removal of all anti-racism symbols.